And we're gonna go and take the puppy someplace now. It's a hot weekend. It's a long weekend. Did you know it's a long weekend? No. And then summer is almost over. August goes so fast. Mm -hmm. All right, go take him out. I'll turn the water on. Hello. Your friends are here, Gino. Your friends are back. Update on my horse hunting. You guys probably think I have lost interest. And I just gave up because it's so hard. I did not give up. I Every single day I follow leads, new leads. And I found a new farm that is the closest to me out of all the farms. And she messaged me back and she said they do have horses available. Probably just foals. I don't know for sure. But she said they have horses available. She asked me what I was looking for and I sent back a message. So cross your fingers that we can at least go and look at them. I'd like to go and try like just ride a gypsy before I like buy one. So we are doing a girls trip, girls road trip. I got my daughter, I mean Kaylee, in the front seat. Hey, like you know you gotta be a good friend to push Gabby out of the front seat because Gabby takes the front seat always. But anyway, we are going swimming. Sam hates when we go swimming, hates it, absolutely hates it. Don't drive Bell. Because he doesn't want to just sit there while we swim. So I said, you stay home. I'm not bashing him. He just hates it. And he doesn't always want to do what we want to do. So we're taking matters into our own hands and we're headed to the water by ourselves. So let's go. And the girls are going to jump from the very top, I'm right? Not. Maybe. Maybe. Whew. a couple boys here. It's always an interesting time when there's boys here. I used to be the mom of the boys. Now I'm the mom of the girls. Girls are evil. I love this though. Like the only reason we come here is because it's so close to our place. It's kind of turning a little green though in this heat. Okay. Molly's like, I like that you come here too. Yeah. What do I tie her off? Tie around that stump. Is that stump actually real? So this time we brought ourselves some floaties. We're gonna try and tie Molly up. I don't really like that spot though. There's no shade there. Oh, our, uh, alligator. Who put the alligator there? The alligator be floating away. these rocks with your bare feet. Jesus. Jesus. Stop saying Jesus, Gabby. Only adults can say that. Get the tube. Get the tube. Get the tube. Get the tube. Oh my gosh. Get my tube. Don't dive. 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 D I B E. Dive. I can't dive. Have you met me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. You're stronger, my 
much stronger than they will ever be. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Sunday and it is the Sunday of a long weekend. 75 glorious degrees. 75 degrees, holy heck. It rained, it rained a lot last night or this morning. I don't know when, but it took away that heat wave and I'm happy, I'm excited. It's supposed to be a warmer weekend, it's supposed to be a cooler week and the ground is a little softer for our horses so that is always good. Yesterday was amazing. Most of you guys probably already saw the video. I just wanted to say a couple of things. Sometimes I don't notice things or I have things to say after I edit the video and I wanted to tell you guys like that swimming video might not seem like much to some people but to me a long time ago when we first started our horse journey we met a lady named Lindsay Partridge and she's like a natural horse trainer. And she told me, you know, Laura, when I take my horses someplace and it's just me and them, they're not scared. They're not nervous because I'm their partner. I'm a part of their herd. They recognize me as being a part of their herd. And yesterday, even though there were other horses with us, those horses went out there, swam in the lake with us. So, like if I showed you guys in the video, there were jet skis and boats just barreling along and they all made like a ton of noise. The waves were going and our horses, most of them, went out there and they swam with us because we asked them to. Not one of them freaked out. Not like there was not one second where I thought things were gonna go badly. Like it was just a true testament to the fact that our horses believe in us and trust us. And I think that's huge, you guys, like that. That's huge. So the girls are still sleeping because that's what girls do when they sleep over. They did not go to bed last night. I actually don't even know what time they did go to bed. Sophie said she went to bed at three. Sophie, so that only means that the girls went to bed later. So they're still sleeping and it is 12.30 noon. I came down to the barn to find some stuff. I've got some oil here, it's skin so soft. I'm wondering if I should put this in my ear. This morning I woke up completely deaf. I can't hear anything. I can't hear the kittens meowing. Are the kittens meowing here? Yep, because they are. <laughs> They're like, let me out! I can't hear the dogs, I can't hear the horses, I can't hear the kids, I can't hear anything. It's like I'm completely deaf. I'm completely deaf. I can't hear a single thing. Every once in a while, she can hear me though. She's like, hello, where's my food? Every once in a while, like once every couple of years, my ears get impacted with uh, wax. So sometimes it happens to me and it just like my ear gets filled with fluid and then it goes away after a few days. So this ear just started doing that and I just let it go. And now a week later I woke up and this ear is completely full and plugged. So I know it's wax. So I need to try and figure out how to get rid of it. Yeah, so that's it. I'm deaf. I'm deaf for the foreseeable future, but I promise to try my best <laughs> to hear you all, <laughs> to hear anything. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I can hear nothing. Not even, like, not her breathing, not my own breathing, not my own voice. I'm either screaming or talking really low. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm deaf. It's not a nice feeling. Sometimes I feel sorry for myself when this happens. Ah. We left the horses in the stalls last night because yesterday when we were gone because we didn't want to leave Chino out in the field by himself. We didn't want to leave Chino in the barn with the girls. So we left them in the stalls. 
So I'm gonna do the chores. I'm gonna clean that all up. And then I'm gonna go wake those girls up and get them, tell them to get their butts out of bed. And then I'm gonna show you guys all my choices for a new horse. Like, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm dealing with. I have some choices. And then I'm gonna ask you guys to tell me what you think in the comments. And kind of like tell me what you would do if you were in my position. So I'm going to leave a little Miss Molly to babysit the kittens. <laughs> she, like hopefully they don't fight because I wouldn't be able to hear it. I hear nothing. Can't hear anything. Can't even. Oh gosh. So I'm going to leave her to babysit the kittens while I clean up. And then we will, I'll meet you guys back at the house in about 20 minutes. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! I always tell the girls before I'm gonna video them. I'm like, I don't, cause I don't want to just whip out a camera and be like, ha, I caught you. So I came downstairs and I said, all right, you guys, I'm gonna video you guys just for a few seconds. So if you don't want me to, or if you're not ready, you need to scream no really loud cause I can't hear anything. And that's then, yeah, that's what happened. I'm assuming you guys are joking. No! I'm assuming you're joking. So Sophie's up. What time did you wake up this morning? 2.30. What time did you wake up, Kaylee? 12. 12. 12? You didn't come down until 1.30. Yeah. Gabby, what time did you wake up? I'm assuming 12. Whenever Dad drilled the thing on. I heard that. Yeah, what happened? He drilled the thing on. Dad drilled the thing back on there? He went in your room and drilled it on? He went in your room while you were sleeping and drilled the thing on? I did hear a big noise and was looking around, but I didn't see anything and I can't hear very well. Oh, God. So he went in there in the middle of the night when you guys were sleeping and drilled that on. Morning. This morning. And that's when you guys woke up. Yeah. Like you were sleeping and he just walked in your room and did that. Wow. I was half awake though. So the girls are up and they are doing what they do best. It's actually a rainy day. So yeah, it's raining. What are you gonna do? Gotta stay inside. So I'm gonna, I came home from the barn and I did all the things that my doctor told me to do for my ears like this is not my first rodeo with ear wax I happened two years oh. ago to me and I went to the doctor and he said ew I hate treating this so this is what you got to do you got to go home and you have to put oil in there and then you have to blast it with like water then you have to blast it with water and a syringe a bunch of times and then I like tried peroxide and every time I've ever done it before it's like moved the blockage it's like done something this time I've done it like so many times nothing yet so who knows I might end up going to the doctor but yeah, I'm completely deaf okay so now is the time when you guys are gonna see my choices in horses I'm gonna tell you everything about it and then I'm gonna tell you my kids choice actually I should get Sophie's choice first okay Sophie come over here I'm gonna show you my horses that I get to choose from so first this is a little girl her name is serenade she's 15 hands high believe it or not she's from bc are you gonna chop her mane off i'll cut a little maybe i don't like how it is right now i like it we all be one um so but gypsies have long manes and they have long feathers and okay so she's thirteen hundred dollars plus she'd have to be shipped and she's trained to ride so she's 15 hands high thirteen hundred dollars and she's trained to ride She's perfect, except for she's really far. And she like doesn't have enough black on Four, her. 500 miles, she's she'd more black. have to be shipped. But I like her because I like the paint kind of color, and I love a baldish face, and I like white. She's less white and more black. I like a lot of white. Horse number two is this gorgeous gelding named Jack. You guys have already seen him. He is in Ontario. He's really far, but doable. He is trained to ride English um he's 11 years old 15.1 hands high great age great height okay location seven thousand dollars great price the problem with Jack is that he is really far and we'd have to go see him I asked for some riding videos and she did send me one of a beginner riding him and he didn't look that cute being ridden um I sent it to my trainer and she's like, yeah, he doesn't look that cute being ridden. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Like, he didn't look very balanced or very in shape. And I know from riding Stella, like, I'm not a very experienced rider. And that's going to be a struggle for me. That's why you have us. 
Yeah, that's why I have the girl, so that's true. And uh, I would appreciate the help. I, I don't know, I kind of feel like I want an experienced horse this time to treat, to train me. This is Skittles, you guys. This is Skittles, it's a girl. Haley, this is the cutest one. I like that one too. Everybody likes this one, this is Skittles. Wait, show her the face mark. Like, look at that face. I think this is the ugliest horse I've ever seen. No offense to the owner because, I mean, you know, like, no offense. But I've never seen a horse that I've liked physically less than this. Like, <laughs> this is, to me, the ugliest horse. What makes you like her? What do you like about her? What? She's so pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. <laughs> Kaylee loves her and so does Gabby. So, okay. So, this horse is skittles she's only four she's almost 15 hands okay. and that i mean she's still growing she has been trained in a professional natural horsemanship way she has been ridden before and she's about to have more training so she's not super trained she comes from incredible um lineage like in her background she has a lot of uh, super athletic train um horses She's 7,500 and she's really local. Like this horse is doable to go look at. She comes from a great place. The place is Fiona approved. She comes like every, she's got all of it, except that she's not experienced, which I say I want an experienced horse. She is a mare and I like that. Get her. She's not the color I want, but I'm, obviously you're not going to go with color, you're going to go with skill. But Look she, at the face marking too. Well, yeah, she, she looks like a pig. She looks like a, a pig. Like not, like look at her, like what is that? Is there something that I'm not seeing? I don't know. Like look at that nose. I She's think adorable. I mean, the lady can't say enough good things about her. She's not even officially on the market yet. I just got led to her. So yeah, those are my, oh wait, there's one more. Then this is Bella, and I'm just marking her right off the list because she is pregnant and she has a foal, so she's being get her, sold get her. She's pregnant. as a three-in-one or a two-in-one package. Um, she is in Ontario. She's actually the closest of them all, but she's only 13.1 hands high. And the reason they're selling her is because they want new bloodlines. So that is Bella. So those are my choices. I'm going to go and ask all the girls right now which horse they like. Like, I do want a mare. I really like Jack, except for that. I mean, I like Jack because he's the most experienced out of them all. I don't know. And he's like a paint color. All right. Which one did you like? There was Jack, Serenade, Bella. Skittles. What? Skittles. 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 Where's Gabby? She's a Skittle. She's a Skittle. Right. Like Skittle. Keep in mind, though, that this horse is for me, and I'm not super experienced. I am gonna need the girls to help me in my journey for sure. We're gonna help you no matter. But what. comment below which horse you like for me. There was Bella, Skittles, Serenade, and Jack. You guys better say All of them are mares except for Jack. I wanted a mare, but. I don't know. So this is at the point where at like these are probably the best options I'm gonna get through this whole thing. Like, which one do you guys choose? I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna mark the 13.1 hand Bella off the list. So don't even comment about her. Choose from the other three. Comment below which one do you guys think I should get and why. Go <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> we just found out we're under a tornado watch and Kaylee said wow what a nice day for a tornado no it's actually windy out there why did I get an alarm running <laughs> She, I didn't get an amber alert. She, they want an amber alert to notify them of tornado warning. Yeah, like we should. Amber make... alert is only for if kids that go missing. Yeah, and hurricanes. <laughs> well, let's see what else does it say. Um, no, it's to inform people too. From now, is it just it? informs people about stuff. Oh, like if kids are missing, so like watch out or like tornado warning. Oh. Downloading an app. <laughs> Okay, they're like freaking out. Do we, where we have to go in the basement? We should go set up a room in the basement. But what about our ponies? We have to go sit in the barn with our ponies. No. I'm ready to get thrown across the world. You could lock Gracie and them in the arena and then the rest of them could go in stalls. Don't you know that you're beautiful?